It's a nice kitty cat, Lily. <laughs> That's bad. I don't know what's going on. With all you need. We had the best time. Thank you so much for being here. It's our YouTube subscriber meetup over here in the Panhandle. Very white buildings everywhere, just white. Everything's very pristine. It's clean here. Well, we're in San Destin, Florida. Just left Destin. It's a little bit of a chilly morning at 53 degrees. Uh, raining, which kind of sucky because I have a YouTube subscriber meet up at 11.30 with several people. So hopefully it's not raining. Just another cute little beach town over here with colorful buildings. You know how I love them. We have an agenda. This is why I don't like to have an agenda sometimes because I blow through places like this, but it is raining so we wouldn't be able to do anything anyways. So this is part of our scenic drive still from Pensacola to Panama City Beach. Now we're on County Road 30A. I don't know if you can see a theme with all of these scenic drives um, along the coast. It's well along the coast mostly so right now you can't see a lot of the uh, the ocean because of the homes to the right, but it's these beautiful beach homes. Some of them are super huge and palatial to tiny, just quaint little beach homes, and then they're right on the beach, and then you have access to the beach as you're driving down some of these roads. Check this out. All of these little uh, food trucks that are airstreams. And I think a few little like stores, not a super cute. And we have more over here. Pickles. Alley's Beach area. Well, that's a cute little structure they had back there. Very interesting, actually. Look at the street. All the shrubs, the palm trees. That's really cool. Very white buildings everywhere. Just white. Everything's very pristine. It's kind of weird, but cool. Uh -huh. It is. Every building is white. Every building. Hey, look at this. Even down the little streets there. We've got cobblestone drives over there on the side. Kind of shields the houses and stuff from the main road. So you've got those little drives over there. And they pop down to their main buildings. Very pristine. Oh, look, we've got some blue. Like they, they added a splash of color. Good for them. Lots of bicycles too, oh my gosh, look how many bicycles there are. Rosemary Beach, oh what a cute town. Oh my gosh, these trees. Ugh, I hate that I'm blowing right through all of this. It's kind of what happens sometimes when you make plans, which is why I don't always make plans. Dang it. Well, I'll be back through here in the winter time, so. I will definitely come back and visit this area. We're on 98 now, which is the main thoroughfare from Dustin to Panama City Beach. You can see the difference. That other drive that we were just on was a scenic byway, and I keep talking about this. Wouldn't you rather be on that than this? I mean, obviously this you can go faster on, but the other one is just so much prettier. You know, it's nice to just take your time, slow it down a little bit, enjoy. Which is kind of funny considering I had to blow through it because of my plans. Welcome to Panama City Beach. And looky there, what welcomes us. A Waffle House, of course. I actually drove from the Cracker Barrel in Destin, Florida, over here to Panama City Beach because I have so much going on this morning. I have my live stream that I'm doing at 10 a.m. I have a meetup at 11.30, so my live stream will only be about an hour. Um, so I have a meetup at 11.30 here at Finn's in Panama City Beach. It's a YouTube subscriber meetup. I've got like, I think I have three or four people that are going to be here in this area. So I'm doing these meetups around Florida because there's so many of you here. And I can't wait to meet all of you. It's so exciting. I'm so glad you guys have reached out to me. And um, I don't do these a lot because I'm not always in areas where people are at. But I rarely get to the East Coast. And so... 
yeah, it's kind of fun to like see all you guys out here and explore these areas. Panama City ends the scenic byway from Pensacola to Panama City. So that's our third one that we've done along our travels to the East Coast. It's time to get ready for the live stream and I need to also edit a video. I've got like an hour and 15 minutes to start editing and hopefully I can get that one out quickly. Lily. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slow look. Goodness, girl. You okay, mommy? Look at that look she gives me. It's a side eye. Did you give me side eye look? What's up with that, mama? What's up? Mm -hmm. You nice and comfy right here? Yeah. You like your bed, don't you? She loves this wool little, I don't know, mat, if you will. Little car seat. I call it my car seat for her. Um, she loves this thing, and then she has a little blankie when it gets cold. And, of course, here's her jacket. It's all up here. You cold, Mommy? You want to cover up? Come here. Let's cover you up. Cover you up. She likes that. Oh, do you hear her? Well, hi. Okay, maybe she doesn't want it. Oh, is that better? Do you want your face out? Good girl. We are going live on my live stream. This is what I've been doing almost every Saturday now. Um, I guess this is my third Saturday of doing this since I started doing daily videos, but this is what my StreamYard looks like from the back end. You actually log into StreamYard. This is the software that I use to do all of the live streams instead of doing it through YouTube Studio. So you can do all of these really cool things like you have banners. So here's a banner right here. No by Mentorship Bootcamp, link in description of the video. I have storychasing.com and I have this thing about join, um, links in the description of the video. Branding, you can do some branding. So I have my colors, I have my logo, so you can see that clicks on and off right there. It's just super easy software, I love this. And then once I add myself, let's see, we have two minutes, so I can add myself to the stream. There we go. <laughs> there I am um, and we're not live yet so once I go live I'll hit this go live button up here um, but yeah I this makes it so much simpler than the YouTube studio I really love the software it's time to put down the camera go live is in two minutes I need to make sure everything is working video apparently is working I need to check the audio and then just get prepared to go She doesn't. She'll chase them. <laughs> She's not a cat. She's not a cat girl. Yeah. Oh, my baby. Does that feel good? You like how she does her legs? She's yep. like all. <laughs> what girl? What? What? Oh, hi, baby. Hi. Hi, go. Yeah. She knows her yoga well. What, you gonna go back in now? She's like, Mom, it's time to go back in now. Why are you going back in? Why? It was so funny. I was out on. <laughs> well, I had an amazing time over here at Finn's in Panama City. I had Amy meet me over here as well as Sonia and we had the best time. Thank you so much for meeting here. It's our YouTube subscriber meetup over here in the Panhandle and if you're ever over here in Panama City, make sure you go to Finn's. It's a cute little outdoor area. You can eat. We had some amazing fish tacos and uh, now we're headed back to the campground where Amy's at. This is Amy. You can't really see her right now. There she is. So uh, she's gonna host me at her campground and we're gonna get situated. Well, I made it over here to Amy's. Um, she's actually hosting me in her own site. They're allowing me to park in front of her RV, which is right here. She bought this beautiful class C. It has a king size bed in that thing. It's huge, I went inside, it is amazing. Um, but she did say that there's bears around here. Bears in Florida, I had no idea. I mean, I thought I would just have to deal with alligators, but not bears. Bug bites, oh my gosh, they're getting bad actually. Um, because I scratched them so much, but look at this. Look at that. That's bad. I don't know what's going on. 
woke up scratching them. So I've been putting some antibiotic cream on it and I hope it helps. I'm gonna give it like another day or two. If it doesn't get better, I'm probably gonna call Teladoc and see what I can do about it because that does concern me that it almost looks like it's spreading or I've bruised it. But I'm gonna get some Benadryl, oral Benadryl to take and see if that helps. It's a little bit humid, but not too bad. I got my package uh, today that has all my new pants in it and my shirts, so that is really good. And I can stay nice and cool out here. <laughs> this is the back side of uh, the campground. Look at all the beautiful trees. Trees, trees. Lily, Lily, you enjoying this? She's smelling everything. And you have the nice walking paths over here too. The trees are so different here than I'm used to seeing. The limbs are been tore off quite a bit. Why they're are they as, torn off? They're not as full as they used to be. Um, because of Hurricane Michael okay. came through. Um, so the leaves on the bottom, you mean? Yeah, like the leaves yeah. and a lot of the limbs. Like they used to be a lot fuller trees. I see what you're saying. Amy was just saying that right over there, where all those trees are, you can see a lot of them are kind of either down or going to the left. That was from Hurricane Michael? Mm -hmm. 2018. 2018. It's amazing how Mother Nature is. Can destroy things in a heartbeat. It's got a beautiful sunset, even through the clouds. What do you think happened here? <laughs> I'll show you. Band aids. These are from my wounds from the noceums. I scratched them way too much on accident. You can see some of the redness coming out over here. <laughs> And I have them on the backs of my legs too. They're really bad. There's another one here. I have another one over here and here. <laughs> it's awful guys. These are from the Noceums from Alabama. I woke up scratching myself. It was so bad. It hurt so bad. It really, really hurt. And so I bought these huge band-aids to put on there because it's got really red and I don't want to get infected. And I bought this Neosporin triple action antibiotic pain itch scar ointment and so hopefully that helps i'm gonna put these on at night and then i bought a different calamine lotion instead of the clear one thinking maybe this one will be better hopefully it is and i'll use that during the day so the ones on my arm are starting to go away but it's the ones on my legs boy they those things are vicious vicious well good morning story chasers it is a beautiful bright sunshiny day today as you can see right over here by the way you like my new hat fins that's the place that we were at we're on this side fins <laughs> i woke up over here in the campground that i was staying at with my friend amy just wanted to let you guys know that this video will probably span over a couple of days where usually i just do a daily video the reason why is because when i'm with friends i don't always like to pick up the camera you know, I want to be in the moment, live in the moment, and they don't always want a camera in their face. So I film what I can here and there. I want you guys to see, you know, what I'm doing throughout the day and the things that I'm seeing along my travels. So I'll show you those really important things like that, but our day-to-day -day conversations, I think that's boring for you guys. You don't want to see all that stuff. <laughs> we just had an amazing breakfast over here at, is it called Quorums? Yep, Quorums. Quorums with Miss Amy over here. Thanks so much for breakfast. You're welcome. <laughs> Eggs, bacon, hash browns. Oh yeah. Even though she has an RV, she still has her car. <laughs> and um, it's so interesting being in a car again versus the van. And are you gonna take this with you? Okay. On the road or your truck? She has a truck too. I haven't decided yet. I need to figure <laughs> out how to be able to take all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Triple two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Get a toy hauler so I have more room. <laughs> That's a weird building. Look at that. It's leaning. And then the boat's over here bleeding. And then that. Oh my gosh, look at the boat. <laughs> okay. That is crazy. Thank you so much, Val, Anthony, and John. Your stickers are in the mail. Okay, so there's the back side of that ship that we just went by. It's even got little propellers. Now you can see the magnitude of how big it is. Panama City is still recovering from Hurricane Michael three years ago, and you can still see the effects of it everywhere. Buildings and areas are left in shambles and haven't been rebuilt yet.
a nice kitty cat, Lily. <laughs> That's Amy's cat. Lily's not a fan of cats. <laughs> it's okay, girl. You're so silly, girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's a grumpy girl. She's not gonna look at that cat. I actually got my mail over here in Panama City, shipped from Livingston to a private mail center called PostNet. Hi. Hey, have a seat wherever you like. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful out here. I'm over here at St. Andrews State Park and the wind of course is blowing because we're by the ocean so hopefully this comes through okay. Um, I've got a different microphone on here and uh, it's got a little wind muff on it so we'll see how well this works. Amy's on a call right now she's gonna meet me out at the beach. Unfortunately Lily can't come out here so we're gonna be out here without Lily she has to stay in the van. I always try to find places where Lily can actually go to but sometimes I just can't but it's actually cool enough out here where the windows are open and she can stay out there and be very comfortable inside the van. I just wish that she could be out here because she really loves the beach. It is a beautiful day outside. Again, darn that Florida weather for being so great. <laughs> I've got all kinds of sand dunes over here and this beautiful pier. Oh, they have got a little shower here for you to wash yourself off in your feet. Oh, we've got the beautiful, beautiful blue and green water again. That's super cool. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Brent. Brent? Rick Johnson. Good to meet you. How are you? It's amazing artistry. How long does it take you to do one of these? Um, most all day. But all you need to build sand castles is just basic tools. I use a mechanical pencil, uh -huh. straw, trowels. Yep. Yeah, it's water and sand. And I use these buckets here as forms. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been making sand castles about 10 years. I have no idea if you're going to be able to hear this, but it is so beautiful outside. <laughs> I'm just loving it. And I have my sand free mat again that's out here. See, it's still sand free. You're pounding on it, nothing. Love this thing, love it. By the way, every time I ever mention anything like this, I have links in my description box. It will take you right to the place where you can go get it. Some of them are affiliate links and full disclosure, but uh, you can go grab something over there. But I only recommend things that I really, really love and enjoy. And I've had this mat for a long time now. And uh, this is the first time I've ever been able to really test it out on this kind of sand. I've tested it out in the desert and it's been amazing. I just love this out here. The beach, the sand, the water. I just wish Lily could come out here. Poor little Lily. That is so amazing.
guys, what an amazing trip this has been to Panama City. It was a really great last couple of days. And it's time to hit the road again. Tomorrow we're headed out for another scenic highway by way. I actually think I'm going to accomplish all of Florida in this trip. We'll see. I just want to thank Amy and Sonia for meeting me over here. It was so great to meet them and hang out with them and really get to know them. And of course, Amy for hosting me over here in her campground site. Um, it was just a really, really incredible time. And she played host and showed me around everywhere. It's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, it's uh, always kind of hard to leave, you know, when you meet people like this along the way and you develop these really great friendships. And she and I have been developing this friendship for a while now since she started my Nomad Mentorship boot camp. So, um, Amy, thank you so much. I'm very thankful for your hospitality. You know, when I started this channel, I started it with the name Story Chasing, and the whole idea behind it was to create more moments in my life that felt really good and nourishing to me and replace, you know, the things that I was missing in my life, which was happiness. I was working way too much and being in my house all of the time and not really getting out. And so, even, you know, living in a master plan community, I didn't always see my neighbors all the time. And so I feel like now that I'm on the road, I'm more social than ever. And being able to meet all these really cool people around and them showing me their areas where they live, hosting me in their house or mooch docking or in their campground, whatever it may be. I just really appreciate all of you guys who have done that for me. So thank you very much. I am creating more stories and moments in my life, and I hope you are too, whatever that may look like. I know I talk a lot about, you know, what I do with my travel and van life, but that doesn't have to be your dream. Your dream can be something completely different than mine. And so ask yourself the question, are you really living out your dream? Are you living your life to its fullest? Is this what you want to be doing? Whatever you're doing right now, whatever your circumstances are in your job, your home, your relationships, is that what you want for your life? I hope whatever you're doing, you are chasing your dreams and creating more stories for your life. I thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up, please. It really does help my videos to get seen more often by other people who may not have found me yet. All right, guys, have a great evening, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. All right, good night.